Hello, welcome everyone, Mohamed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to run a web application in IS Express uh, when you're developing from the Visual Studio. So this is going to be a quick video. Uh, instead of running the web applications or the web services that you're developing uh, in localhost during the development uh, stage, uh, you can run it in the network in the same machine that you're working in the same desktop or the laptop you're working so that uh, it will make your life easier when you want to integrate it with uh, another application that is running in the same network uh, if you want to test some kind of uh, web apis so this is going to be a quick demo let's begin so let's open the visual studio then from the visual studio click on create a new project then I'm going to select ASP.NET Core Web API, then click Next, then give a meaningful name for the project, then click Next. I'm going to keep the selections as it is, .NET 6, then let's run the application. So this is going to open a Swagger UI because this is a web API. So the prime aim is to run this from the network in IS Express from Visual Studio so that the external applications in the same network can access it. So now you can see it responding with some dummy data. This is a part of the uh, Web API template. So if you are new, you can also try the same. Let's uh, stop it and let's try to see the IS Express. So the settings for IS Express is you can see here from the IS Express, you can see it is uh, uh, configured to run in the local host network which means you can only access from the same system network so we are going to change this to the ip address of this machine so that it can be accessed from outside the machine before we change the configuration for the first time we are going to run in uh, the web application in is express and you can see a new icon in the uh, taskbar uh, IS Express and that is uh, showing the applications are running and also the Swagger uh, UI is uh, going to open in the web browser. So this is uh, same if you run uh, from the Visual Studio or Visual St or in the IS Express. So we are going to change the IP address. So let's see how to do that now. So from the file explorer, go and find out the project location, then navigate to the config application.config file then from there you will find bindings so to make our life easier you can use find not this one the one after this uh, first bindings tag so here you can see that uh, the configurations are with localhost so we are going to change the to the ip address and my system ip address is 1.26 so let's copy and paste so this is going to replace the local host to the IP address and close that will save the changes to the uh, config file. Then from the Visual Studio, uh, go to the properties, then from there select IS Express and here you can change the app URL to the IP address. So our IP address is 192.168 then 1.26 so we are done with the configuration now we can click on the is express then that will run this application uh, instead of localhost this time it run with the ip address so this will open the swagger um, ui so you can see it's uh, running with the ip address now we need to try to access this uh, application from uh, other systems in the same network so i simply copy the url and i'm going to drag a web browser from the other machine then you can see that it responding and it is going to pop up the same screen the same web application that we saw so that means it is accessible now from outside the visual studio machine so that was our aim so thank you for watching this video and for more videos subscribe my youtube channel